Hi, it's Eric Solbakken, and today I want to talk to you about when your biggest asset turns into your biggest liability. You know, as accountants, our ability to know technical details and to be incredibly technically oriented is great for our clients when we're filing, you know, their tax returns and we're doing uh, detailed financial calculations. But when it comes to explaining what we do for our clients, it turns into our biggest liability. Example is when you're talking to your client and you're trying to tell them about filing a tax return and you go into acronyms and T forms and all sorts of technical jargon, you can lose them. They will be gone. They will just zone right out. So whatever you do, when you're talking to your clients, you can be technically proficient and you can be incredibly detail oriented. But when you're talking to your clients, you can't be using acronyms and all these phrases that they don't understand. Now, with that said, um, I have two acronyms I want you to think about when you're working with your clients the next time. And the first one is KYC. What does KYC stand for? It's know your client. So the, the critical thing to think about here is know who your client is, know what they want, know where they're trying to get to, know how you know, technically proficient maybe they are. I mean, some clients want to hear the details, but I've rarely, rarely met one that really needs that kind of technical detailed um, analysis of what we actually do. They want to know what they're going to get. Don't tell them what you're going to do. Tell them what they're going to get and show how when you are going to work with them, you're going to get them there. Okay. So then the second acronym I want you to think about is the KISS acronym and, and most people know what this stands for. You know, keep it simple, stupid. In my case, I say keep it simple, soul back in. It's easier for me to understand that way. So uh, keep it simple. Talk to your clients in terms that they understand. Once you know your client, you can speak to them in simple terms to explain what your services are going to do to get them to where they want to go. Nothing will uh, glaze your client's eyes over more than talking technical terms. I remember when it was in the beginning of my career and I was talking to this client and I was explaining this complex reorganization I was going to do and all the technical filings and I lost them. They, their eyes glazed right over. They were just like, what? And I realized I was losing them. So I quickly shifted gears and I started talking to them about what they were going to do after this event had happened, when they had reorganized the company and the kids were going to take over. And then all of a sudden they started talking about the trips they were going to go on and the family uh, time they were going to have. And so I started talking about that and we started focusing on that part of the conversation and their whole demeanor changed. The whole communication between me and the client changed and they started really getting excited and that emotional trigger happened and we were talking about that. They were so excited for me to do the work now. It changed everything and not only were they excited, they were ready to pay me really, really well. So the, the key again is to remember these two acronyms, KYC and KISS, when you're talking to your clients. We got to subdue our greatest asset, our technical proficiency and our technical detailed orientedness and put it aside when we're talking to our clients because it will make all the difference in the world for the price that they're going to pay and how happy your clients are going to be. So I'm Eric Solbakken and wherever you're watching this, please scroll down, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you and stay tuned for more success tips to come.